If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> And now I also want to go on a more serious serious note now. Now, if you don't mind disclosing, you know what exactly went down that caused you to part ways with Pro Box. And before you start, I want to say that uh, feel free to be as vague or elaborate as, as 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 you feel comfortable or appropriate. You know, there's no pressure either way. But I do. Uh, but but I personally feel that some people should know what they're supporting. You know, what kind of people that they're supporting. And we all won't get along. That is business. But but business is ran by humans, and a part of being human is having humanity, at least a slice of it. So you know, having humanity and decency. So you know, what what would uh what would, what would you like to say about that? Because I was hurt you when know, I, I you I, left, man. That's actually why I reached out to you, if you remember. Right, right. I mean, I've taken the high road with this. I'll say there's a there's a right way and a wrong way to to treat people. Right. And, and it was the complete wrong way that they went about it. But again, um, you know, I, I, I have taken the high road with them. Um, I don't watch Pro Box anymore. That's my choice. Right. Uh, I do I support you. my friends over there, meaning right. Pauly, Chris, Teddy, uh, Sean, Pauly. And Tim, um, I do support those guys, and I think they're an asset to Pro Box. But um, look, uh, they they the owner of Pro Box makes his choices. He runs the whole show. Uh, when you're the owner of something, you can make decisions. You can make bad decisions. You can make good decisions. That's a fact. Uh, and th and this is what he he did. You know, it's funny. The first like week or two that uh when i was let go mm. i i wouldn't watch the shows but i would be in the comments and i noticed there was like literally like hundreds of people with comments and and it was it was it it, it was flattering it made me feel good you know they're like yeah. and i would conversate with them in the comments but then after about a week it turned into some people were on there saying oh George has fake accounts. He's got ghost accounts, and he's he's slamming pro, which I never did. And it got to a point, and even my wife, you know, I talked with her, and and she said maybe you ought to just just don't don't even go in the comments anymore. And it was great advice. Yeah. And and I stopped. But again, there's a right way and a wrong way to treat people. Um, of course, I don't feel like I was treated uh, in in a, in the right way. Right. But look, when you own something. It was a bad decision. He made a bad decision, but you are entitled as the owner right. to do anything you want. So I think ProBox has lofty ambitions. Uh, as you can see, they've hired some real fighters. I mean, yeah. an analyst, a Teddy Atlas. Yep. You know, he, he's a historian. He's a Hall of Famer. Tim Bradley's a Hall of Famer. On the Spanish side, like, I don't even want to do a commercial for them, but Juan Manuel Marquez, Juan Manuel who Marquez, I also yeah. know, because I shot with him when I was at right. HBO. So they're, they're, they really... Uh, they've hired some excellent people who know the sport. Right. And, Jorge and Linares I works in there in some well. capacity as well, right? Huh? Jorge Linares as well in some capacity. I don't know if he's still there. I know okay. Marco Antonio Barrera yep, Marco does Antonio stuff Barrera on the Spanish well, right. side and Marquez. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, they've got real fighters, man. Real people who know the sport. So, yeah. but I just, I take the... I take the high road. Um, I have confidence and faith in myself, and I know there you go. what they did was make a bad decision. But again, you own it. You can do whatever you want. There Just you like go. you have your show, you can have whoever you want on. Absolutely. Um, it's the same concept, and, 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 and that's how it is. So I want to be the first to debunk that that is bot accounts because I was one of those accounts. I'm definitely not a bot. So I was in the comments saying, where's George? Where's George? And he responded to me. And that's how we began our conversation. Right. You know, it started off, right. that dialogue started from a comment section. We started conversing ever since, you know, and he's been cool. He came to my channel, I came to his channel. And then, you know, I, I reached out to him and asked him to come on the show. And here we are today, man. So big, big salute to George. He is, he is truly missed at his presence or his absence rather is it, noticed, you know what I'm saying? And someone, and Ryan in the, in the, in the chat said, what? They let you go. I felt you were a huge part of the, of what ProBox was and is becoming and i agree with that a thousand percent so they're not bot accounts but you know people will do anything to try to justify their mistakes you know or or, or right. doing you wrong so but speaking of that I man, you know you're talking about what we could do on our own channels what i need for you to do is to get with max kellerman roy jones and jim lampley and start your own boxing platform <laughs> and bring me on the network as well you know so i could contribute you know that? bring me on board well, man that'd be dope listen to do that though Man, that's gonna cost some money. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna cost probably more money than you and I can come up with to get those guys. That's a fact. But, um, you know what? I spoke to Max about a completely separate.
project. And he did not give me any information, but Max um, has been very silent since he was let go by ESPN. So my yeah, guess they, is... They did him dirty, too, in my might, opinion. You know, not knowing anything. He might have some kind of a... a, a some kind of an agreement with him. I don't know when his contract is up. Max ha- Max is is a part of boxing. Max should be Max Absolutely. should still still be calling fights. Absolutely. Just like Jim and Roy. Um by the way, um you know, prayers out to Roy yeah, because to son. just tragic, you know, that his yeah. son um is no longer with us. Just yeah. so sad. Yeah. Um cuz I have kids and you don't even have to have kids to to feel that pain. Yeah. Um but Roy is, Roy is, I was on his farm in Pensacola a few mm-hmm. years ago because he was training Devin Alexander was, when Devin Alexander was uh, coming back for a yeah. fight. Uh, so I got to be on, on the farm for, I think it was three or four days. He has fighters that live on his property. Yep. And every day... They go, they go fishing. They talk boxing. Like these guys, just it's like a you family. know, Roy gives his time to them, and and it hasn't really worked out for Roy as a trainer. Yeah. Yet, but but the knowledge that he has and the respect that he has, um, you know, I, I miss him as a boxing fan. Uh, I'm I'm greedy. I miss him calling fights. Yeah, me too. I, I really me too. do. Me uh, too. Because he's incredible, but man, if can you imagine if we started? Can you imagine if we had a channel? <laughs> man, that'd be Jim awesome. Man. Really? <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great, man. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.